Assalamualaikum and have a great day everyone. Today I will demonstrate the fat simulation for gas pressure. To study about the gas pressure, so I will choose gas property. And we, I choose ideal, which is represent the ideal gas, which uh, particles of gas exhibit no attractive interaction whatsoever at high temperatures and low pressures. Gases behave close to ideally. And the kinetic energy, which is the energy possessed by an object because of its motion. In kinetic gas theory, the kinetic energy of gas particle is dependent on upon temperature only. Alright, now, so we have uh, two different masses of gas particle here. This is the bigger mass and this is the lighter mass particle. And also we have the uh, thermometer to uh, measure the temperature in the container in Kelvin and also in degrees Celsius and we have the bottom gauge here to measure the uh, pressure in the gas container and also we can increase and decrease the volume of the container all right now let's do the demonstration to find out whether the different types of um, different masses of gas particle affected the pressure or not Alright, so I in I add in let's say uh, 100 part heavy particles in the container. So let's watch how the particle behave. Alright, so I will hold constant the uh, volume and also the temperature. Okay. Now, at a temperature of 300 Kelvin or 27 degrees Celsius, right, we can see that the gas particle move randomly and they will hit the other gas particles and also they will uh, hit the wall of the container. Alright, now let's read the pressure in the container. It shows 11 point, let's say 11.4 atmosphere now let's change the gas particle to the lighter particle right i reset okay and then we add in 100 lighter particle and we hold constant the volume and temperature but temperature we must choose only one so also at 300 kelvin or 27 degrees celsius we can see that the gas particle move randomly and rapidly compared to the uh, bigger mass particles right so even though it is small but the speed is higher compared to the uh, bigger mass particles and it hits uh, the wall of container more okay compared to the bigger mass particle so now let's read the pressure in the gas container and surprisingly all right the reading of the pressure in the gas container is about the same with the bigger mass particle but we can see that the reading is not consistent why does this happen all right now the reading of the pressure is dependent to the pressure exerted by the gas particles in the container due to the collision to the wall of the container all right now okay now we find out the first conclusion here is there is no uh, difference in the reading of the pressure for the bigger mass particle or smaller mass particle when we hold constant the volume and temperature of the container so we find out that there is no difference in pressure why this happened okay this is the small particle so this is the bigger mass particle and they choose the reading of uh, let's say 11.3 and this is 12 12.0 atmosphere at the same temperature all right and also at the same volume same volume all right now why does this happen okay 
So we see that both a small particle, gas particle, and also the big particle, they possess the same average kinetic energy. So how does that happen? Alright, kinetic energy or half mv square. We know that there are two variables that related to the kinetic energy, which is mass and also the velocity square for the smaller particle gas particle we say that it has a small mass all right but it possesses the higher speed right and so they have higher speed contrary to the bigger mass part gas particle so they have higher mass but they move uh, in a more smaller speed this is what makes their average kinetic energy to be the same how can we relate mass and velocity to pressure how does the pressure of the smaller particle and also the bigger mass particle are the same all right now so pressure defined by force per unit area right so the force that related to this uh, simulation is the impulsive force so impulsive force f equal to rate of change okay? change of momentum okay impulsive force is the rate of change of momentum which rate of which change of momentum equal to mv minus nu over delta t for the smaller gas particle okay, since we understand that it has small mass and higher velocity or higher speed so they also possess high change in momentum okay, they possess the a high change of momentum and how about the bigger mass particle also they possess a high change of rate of change of momentum this is what makes their pressure to be the same because the kinetic energy and the pressure is related to the mass and also the velocity of the gas particle where it is a lighter gas particle or a heavier gas particle so that is why their pressure are the same and they have the similar or same average kinetic energy again due to mass and also the velocity we have another variable which is heat Okay. So what happened when we increase the heat in the container? So from 300 Kelvin, let's say we increase, I uh, increase into, um, let's say 351 or 78 degree Celsius. Obviously, we can see that the pressure increase. Okay, let's add more heat in the container. Let's say. 156 degrees Celsius so the pressure increase right from 11.4 to about 16.5 that is our second conclusion which is okay when we increase the temperature in the container the pressure also will increase so the relationship is directly proportional how if I hold constant the temperature, okay, the temperature is 156 degrees Celsius and the reading of the pressure is 16.6. Uh, .6. What will happen when I increase the volume? Alright, when I increase the volume, the pressure will decrease. And when I decrease the volume of the container, the pressure will increase so that is our third conclusion which is the pressure will increase when the volume is decreased and one more conclusion here we want to observe here is at temperature 156 degrees celsius okay so we hold constant the volume 
we want to study what will happen to the pressure in the container when we add more uh, gas particles. Alright, let's see what will happen to the pressure. We can see obviously that the pressure increase when we add more particles in the pressure. Alright, that's all for now. So let's release all the gas particles. Alright, thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum and have a great day. So as a conclusion, number one, okay, both gases, which is a lighter or heavier gas, have the same pressure, okay, when temperature and volume constant. Conclusion number two. As the temperature increase, the pressure also will increase. Conclusion number three, as the volume increase, the pressure will decrease. And lastly, number four, when we add more gas particle in the same volume and same temperature, container when we add more gas particles what will happen the pressure will increase so this is our conclusion for the observation by using that simulation all right thank you